Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, again, we're trying to solve the quadratic equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 8, which means we're looking for the places where the graph crosses the x-axis. So when we have our xy-axis, we're looking for the places where the graph will actually cross the x-axis. In some cases it doesn't, but let's see if this is one of those cases. I also put on the board the quadratic formula. The general equation, the general quadratic equation, can be written as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. If we go over here, we can realize a is represented by the number 1, b is represented by the number negative 4, and c is represented by the number 8. So we could find the value of x where it crosses the x-axis by simply plugging it into this equation here. This is known as the quadratic formula. Right. Let me write that down. Quadratic formula. But first what we're going to do is we're going to try and solve it using factoring because that's what we've done so far and that usually works pretty nice if it's factorable. So in order to find the places where it crosses the x-axis, we're going to set y equal to 0 set y equal to 0, and now we get 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 8, and now we're going to try to factor that. So 0 is equal to, we want to write it as the product of two binomials. So we get x and x. The signs would have to both be negative because when we multiply the two numbers together, we get a positive 8, and when we add them together, we get a negative 4. Negative, negative. So now we're looking for two numbers. When I multiply, I get positive 8, and when I add them together, I get a negative 4. So let's see, what are the possibilities? We have negative 1 and negative 8. We have negative 2 and negative 4. And those are the only two possibilities. But notice, when I add them together, negative 1 plus negative 8 is negative 9. That's not a negative 4. And negative 2 plus negative 4 gives me negative 6, which is also not negative 4. So it looks like... I cannot factor this. This is not the correct method to do it. It's not possible. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula instead, realizing again that a is positive 1, b is a negative 4, and c is an 8, and then it says that the solution to the quadratic equation, x is equal to negative b. Since b is negative 4, negative b would be a positive 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared that would be negative 4 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is 8, all divided by 2 times a. And a is, of course, 1. So let's simplify that and see what we get. x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root. Negative 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 8, which is minus 32. Oh, don't have to make it so long all divided by 2 times 1, which is 2, which means that x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 is minus 16 divided by 2. Now here we have a problem. We're supposed to take the square root of a negative number. There is no such thing as the square root of a negative number. That would be an imaginary number, not a real number. So therefore, there is no solution to this particular quadratic equation. We can say there is no solution. But in other words, the graph doesn't actually cross the x-axis. Hmm, the graph probably stays above the x-axis. The solution probably looks something like this. Or I should say the graph looks something like this, and the graph never crosses the x-axis. How do we know? That's because when we try to solve for x, first we try to solve it using Factoring, that didn't work, but that's okay. You could still have real solutions when it's not possible to factor it. But then when we use a quadratic formula, we end up with the square root of a negative number. Whenever the number un underneath the radical is negative, there's no solution. That simply means that the graph does not cross the x-axis. And that's how we do that.